All right, you should have your big math book out, open to page 253. Um, as I work through the, the problem on the top, anything I write down or anything I underline, I want you to underline it as well. And you also have some scratch paper um, that you can use as well if you need extra room. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. It says, what rules for division can help you divide with one and zero? So let's look at this first problem. It says, if there is only one fishbowl, and here they're showing our, us our one fishbowl, then all the fish must go in that fishbowl. So the first number here represents the number of fish. Four, there's one, two, three, four. Number of bowls, there's only one, this one bowl. And the number of fish in each bowl, well, since there's only one bowl, the answer is four. So our rule is any number divided by one equals that number. So for example, if I have five divided by one, what's that going to equal? Sorry about that, let me get that back. What's that going to equal? Well, if we follow our rule, this number, and we're dividing by one, so it's going to equal the same number, five. Five divided by one is five. Okay, let's try another number, six. If I have six divided by one, again, following that rule, any number divided by one is going to be that number itself. Now let's take it a little bit further. What if we had um, 12 divided by one? What is that going to equal? And again, you should be writing all of these down either in your book or on your scratch paper along with me. Okay, if you need to pause the video to catch up and write down what I've already written down, go ahead and do so. Okay, 12, again, divided by 1 is going to be that same number, 12. Now, let's get a little bit more tricky just because I know what's coming because you guys are coming to fourth grade next year and we're working on something very similar to this. So no matter what goes here, if you're dividing by 1, that same answer is going to go here. Okay. So, for example, if I have one half divided by one, so one half is the first term, I'm dividing by one, which our rule, any number divided by one equals that number. So yeah, it's going to equal one half as well. See the numbers, it never changes. You're not changing the value, okay? And you can see that again here, even one half divided by one equals one. Now let's take it one step further. What if we wanted to do some algebra in third grade? What if I had a divided by one? What is that going to equal? Well, our rule says anything divided by one equals that same thing. So again, it's going to be a. A divided by 1 is A. Now I'm going to do one step further and then we'll finish this, the other part of this problem. I can even use symbols. For example, I could say triangle divided by 1 equals what? Well again, the rule says whatever's here, the first term, is what our quotient is going to be. And remember our quotient is the answer to a division problem. So again, triangle divided by one equals triangle. Yeah, I know it sounds funny, but it's true. Okay, now let's go back up to into our book and let's do the try this side. There are three fish and one fishbowl. Draw a quick picture to show the fish in the fishbowl. So I'm gonna do like I did over here. This is gonna be my fishbowl. And I have just one fish bowl. There's my one fish bowl. And then three fish. So there's one fish. Oh, that's an ugly fish. You can draw better than me, I'm sure. 
Oh my goodness. I'm really bad at drawing fish. There's the little eyes. There's my three fish, though. Okay. So let's write an equation uh, that the picture shows. Well, again, just like over here, this first number is going to represent the number of fish. So there are three fish. The second number is going to represent the number of bulls, just like it did over here. There's one bull. And again, just like we were showing on all the other problems, anytime you have a number divided by one, you're going to get that same number. Now, math talk, let's look at this. How is this related to the multiplication rule? Well, it's basically identical because if we take any number times one, we also get that same number. And we could do the same thing down here, triangle times triangle, or excuse me, <laughs> triangle times triangle, excuse me, triangle times one, oh, get my video back. Triangle times one is going to equal triangle, just like triangle divided by one equals triangle. So it's, it's basically the same property that you learned in multiplication. It also applies to division as well. Okay, now go ahead and uh, answer the questions below this and then go on to the next page. If it doesn't allow you to go on to the next page, that means you've missed one or more. And if you need help, you can always raise your hand and uh, Mrs. Ritter or myself will help you. All right, see you on the next page.